Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh. This is King Posh Gaming. Got it? Great. Now, I mean, hey, I am the only person that was, I guess, crazy enough to make an A class for the Roma 2020 Ferrari. I mean, look, all I did was put in any drift in any because honestly, there is no such thing as you know, A class for this thing. Well, there is now. So when you put in drift, that's all you put in. You're going to see I'm the only one with an A class for this car. <laughs> I mean, the, the car, I, everything I see on like Facebook and everything, people are just saying how ugly the car looks or what it looks. It looks like a different car. It, it, it's an odd, it's an odd duck, odd duck, quack, quack. So let's get into this thing. 663 horsepower, 434 foot-pounds of torque, weighs nearly 4,000 pounds, A-Class, A800, 2020 Ferrari Roma. I'm pretty sure that's called a Roma. Looks like Roma. It might be, it might not even be called a Roma. Uh, the Italians... You know, they, they probably have a better name for it. I don't know. I have to actually look it up. But from what I can see right here, it says Roma. So I'm going to call it a Roma. It's like a Roomba. Almost, you know, like that little thing that just goes around and cleans our carpets. Either way. Funny, funny. There is a lot of options here that you could actually go with here and keep it into the A-Class. This one you get a little bit, you know, a little bit more torque. You know, 30 more torque. 40, 50, somewhere around there. And, every, and these two right here just keep you in the S1 class. So there is a lot of options to get this into an A class. And uh, I definitely did it. It's got all wheel drive. So that's a plus. It, it's got a centrifugal um, supercharger on there. Um, that's a half turbo and half supercharger in one. It's the best of both worlds. No, nothing in the front. I mean, you could have put something in the front just to make the front look a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. And just so I could add more power to this, because if I take this thing off, it goes up to an S1803. I figured my tunes are good enough. It, it can run with the, uh, with the spoiler in the background. It's got a snow tire compound. Stock in the front, stock in the back. Got the heavier rims on there. 20s in the front, 20s in the rear. Stock track width and maxed out track width in the rear. I knew that was the case. You could actually take, take this down if you wanted to. Nine speed transmission. I did try that one. It's still an A-Class, so it really didn't hurt anything. Just added weight, you know. So, it is what it is. But I couldn't go down to an A-Speed because it would take me up to an S1. Here, the race drive line would take you up to an S1, so you just keep it as a stock drive line. And you get a drift differential. Here we got drift springs and dampeners. No anti-roll bars for the front. None for the rear. As you can tell, if I even put them on there, it'd take me up to an S1. No roll cage, and if I did, it would take me up to an S1. Stock weight reduction, anything higher, of course, it would take you up to an S1. Now let's look at the power that I have on here. They give me 663 horsepower. So race, race, stock, stock exhaust, stock cams and valves, stock valves, stock or street supercharger, centrifugal force supercharger, whatever you want to call it, uh, sport intercooler, anything higher would take me up to 804 and give me a nice almost 700 horsepower, and a stock flywheel. As you can tell, if I even try to save one single pound, 
One single pound would be an S1 class. That's how tightly configurated I put into this thing. Does that make sense? Eh, sure. Nothing in the car mastery. I don't know how many people are going to be watching this video. It, it, I don't know if this is a popular car, um, but it is what it is. As you can tell, it's got a top speed of 185.5 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in 2.6. It really isn't that bad. We got it 55 and 55. And really, what we got here is first, second, and third. And then it starts to rope out pretty quickly. Um, so you got these gears here. And then you got the ninth gear as a traveling gear. And that's how you get up to 185.5 miles an hour. And then I did the alignment. I have this on a straight build. It, it, it's a straight build. I just have it just set just enough so it had a top speed of 185.5. You go 2.1, I think it goes to 185.6. Um, so, you know, that little OCD that you just have to have everything perfect every once in a while. That's why I have it that way. Springs are as stiff as possible, and then I, I made sure that these were even. I mean, we don't have much power in this Ferrari, and, and it's all-wheel drive, so we're just trying to give everything we can to get this thing to go sideways. 21 and 20 and 20. There is downforce on the back of the car because I put it there, so I just took it all the way down the speed. So you got 312 pounds in the back. And then brakes are just 50 and 100. We got 76, 86, 97, 97. We got 86% of the power going to the rear wheels. Now I do have a replay for this and I will show it. We're just going to take it outside real quick. I think it's dark time or nighttime. It's always nighttime in this game. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, this is a first. I haven't seen day in, in months. It takes off pretty pretty good. Once you get sideways, it's pretty smooth. See, that third, third gear is about right where it's at, and then it just, it, you know, it dies. But that's okay. I wanted to make an A-class for this thing. I said, hey, if it's possible to make an A-class for it, why not? Because usually there's that one guy in the comment section that says, you got to make an A-class for it. A-class is needed. <laughs> uh, funny, funny. But yeah, she's pretty good. Let's take the second gear here. Not going to make it. We had to hit the air brake there. We'll see how my video did, though. There's a 35 with it. Live with you guys. Um, but here, let's, uh, you know, let's just have a little show, a little picture right there for, for the video, you know, so everybody can see it. And then let's, uh, let's go over one here and show you guys my library of... And see if it's going to work. I'm pressing the thing. Fine. If it doesn't want to work, that's fine. We'll, we'll just go through, go through my apps, and we'll just go through the other way. It is what it is. Doesn't want to work for me. That's fine. So, 14 seconds. That's third gear right, right with it right there. I mean, it would have hit a 40,000 with it. Not too shabby. So, it is what it is. And there's the build, the tune for the Roma. I think that's how you call it. You can always try to give me a... If I'm saying it right in the comments or not, I'd like to know. I might even Google it. Who knows? But hopefully you guys like this car. It is the only A-Class A800 uh, on the game for drifting with all-wheel drive. And so I'm proud to have that at this very moment. Until someone says, oh, hey, I want to do it too. And that's fine. But as of right now, right this very second, I'm the only A800 Roma Ferrari tuner on horizon five and i feel very proud at this very second well hey guys 
I hope you have a wonderful week, weekend, day, evening. I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, all my friends. Peace out.